G'day fellas, it's Billy here. Well, this is just some of the scrap leftovers from when I bit angle grinding yesterday, so it's a good thing I've done this because by the end of a end of my day scrapping or whatever, I think there's probably gonna be at least a couple of kilos worth of offcuts there. So anyway fellas, here's all the other motors I've done and I've just started on the microwave oven motors yesterday so I've got all of these so we'll do those today and then I'm also going to be hopefully today snipping some electrical cords snipping all the ends off the electrical cord so Sophie's been naughty fighting with Cindy again she's a bit wary of me and just these bloody air conditioners guys but like I say guys or fellas I am so tired of doing this, it's so exhausting, uh, not really so much exhausting guys, but I'm just so sick of exposing myself to all the fucking dangerous chemicals and crap, you know, even when you're cutting open these air conditioners, you're breathing in bloody um, the refrigeration gas, cutting up stuff with the angle grinders, you know, what's kind of makes, you know, you can smell all the funny smells, you know, this all this glue here it's all bloody poison fellas and I do wear a mask but there's also a lot of times where I don't wear a mask and blame that on my laziness but yeah I'm just so sick of doing it guys you know I just this what I've done the last seven years is probably going to kill me sick of it but anyway it's got to be done I don't regret it fellas but it's really literally saved my life but like I say it's not really a healthy lifestyle if you want to go scrapping and there's so many dangerous and deadly toxins out there asbestos all the crap on the electrical cords and refrigeration gas all the deadly um, beryllium inside microwave ovens will give you cancer everything else I you know but anyway fellas don't think of me think about those poor people in China who do it watch this video what I made a few years ago it'll really make you twice I mean it'll really make you think twice about the crap you throw out and all the stuff what gets thrown out ends up getting shipped to China India and all the other poor countries where people get paid five cents a day to strip electrical wire and to poison themselves, their kids, their babies and everything else. It's absolutely disgusting guys, but something really needs to be done. But what can we do? We're an awful human race fellas. Many, many years from now I think I well, know. Just imagine what people up there think when they're looking down at us, thinking all of this awful destruction what man's done to the beautiful Mother Earth. I don't give a shit what you guys think about what I say about that fellas, but think about it. It's absolutely shameful. All this crap, all this plastic shit. Everything's covered in plastic these days. You know, you buy a bloody fucking lolly and it's got a plastic wrapper on it. It's shameful. Everything's shameful guys. What's going to happen when all this oil runs out? And that's when Mother Nature will start to reclaim Mother Earth, I guarantee you that. There's no doubt about it, fellas. I'm not being a prophet or nothing like that. I just know it's going to happen. And like I say, it might not happen now, or it might not happen in the next 10 years, not the next 1,000 years, but I guarantee you guys, once we're gone, it will happen. So think about that for your kids, for the future kids, your kids and everything else. Something needs to be done, fellas. It's absolutely shameful what we have done to our Earth. But I'm on here. Tiny, 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 tiny. Clock in the wheel of life.